In the town of Alto, there lived a boy named Lentil. Lentil had a happy life, except for one thing. He wanted to sing, but he couldn't sing very well. It was most embarrassing, because when he opened his mouth to try, only strange sounds came out. And he couldn't whistle because he couldn't even pucker his lips. But he did want to make music. So he saved up enough pennies and went to the store to buy a harmonica. Lentil was proud of his new harmonica, and he decided to become an expert. So he played a lot, whenever and wherever he could. His favorite place to practice was in the bathtub, because there the tone was improved 100%. He used to play almost all the way to school, down Vine Street to the corner of Main, past the drugstore, the barber shop, through the Colonel Carter Memorial Park, and around the Soldiers and Sailors Monument. Then, Lentil would stuff his harmonica into his pocket and take a shortcut up the alley behind the hardware store so he would not be late for school. Well, one day the news got around that the great Colonel Carter, the town's most important citizen, who had been away for two years, was coming home. People began to plan a grand welcome. That is, everybody but old Sneep, who didn't like much of anything. When old Sneep heard the news, he said, huh, We was boys together. He ain't a mite better than you or me, and he needs taking down a peg or two. But the people hung out flags and decorated the streets. The mayor prepared a speech. The alto brass band put on their new uniforms. And the printer, the grocer, the plumber, the barber, the druggist, the ice man, the school teachers, the housewives, and their husbands and their children, yes, the whole town was at the station to welcome Colonel Carter. The train pulled in. The musicians in the band were waiting for the leader to signal them to play. All the people held their breath and waited. Then there was a wet sound. There sat old Sneep sucking on a lemon. Old Sneep knew that when the musicians looked at him, their mouths would pucker up so they could not blow their horns. The mayor gave the signal to play but the piccolo player couldn't play his piccolo. The trombone player couldn't play his trombone. And the tuba player couldn't play his tuba. Because their lips were all puckered up. They couldn't play a single note. As Colonel Carter stepped from his car, the only sound was the noise of Sneep Lemon. Clouds began to gather on the colonel's brow, and he said, mm! in an indignant sort of way. Of course, Lentil's lips were not puckered, and he knew that something had to be done, so he took out his harmonica and started to play Coming Round the Mountain When She Comes. When Lentil began to play the chorus, Colonel Carter smiled. Then he let out a loud chuckle and began to sing, Driving six white horses when she comes. Then, Lentil showed what he could really do on his harmonica. The colonel took a turn at the harmonica when Lentil's wind began to give out. It 
He said that he hadn't played one since he was a boy, but he did very well, considering. Everybody marched to the colonel's house, and Colonel Carter made a speech saying how happy he was to be home again. When he said that he was going to build a big new playground for the town of Alto, everybody was happy, even old Sneep. So, you never can tell what will happen when you learn to play the harmonica.